Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Smart Wallet and Me, where financial wisdom matters. In today's video, I want to give you four principles on money that will make you wealthy. This isn't a quick method to make you rich. It's going to take time. It's not a sprint, but a marathon. It's going to have to be a lifestyle change to get you wealthy. It's a cause and effect method. You reap what you sow. So let's get right into it. Please smash that like button right now for the YouTube algorithm and please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so to get more videos and content like this. So without further ado, here's point number one, create a budget. If you don't write down how much your expenses are and how much your income is, you're going to be clueless. You can't build a building until you plan it out and a company can't be successful unless they have financial statements. And frankly, you can't be wealthy unless you have your own personal budget. You need to know how much money is coming in and how much money is going out. And you need to write this down so that you have it on paper or on a computer or in an app or somewhere so that you know exactly how much money is coming in and how much money is going out. Without having a budget, guys, you're going to be completely clueless and lost and you're just going to be estimating things and usually your estimate is going to be wrong and off target. So simple as that. I start off with this every single time. Create a budget. You need to know what is coming in, how much money you're making and what are your expenses. The easiest way to do this is to get your three months of expenses. If you don't have it from the last three months, start today. Start from you know this coming month start from now keep track of all of your expenses know how much money you're spending how much money you're making and if you don't have a steady income try to get your last three months pay stubs or 10 if you're 1099 your your checks that you're getting and try to add it up and see how much you made for the last three months and average it out and see how much you're making every single month so that you have an idea or a clue of how much you're making per month and in this way you will know exactly what your budget is and you shouldn't go over that and this brings me to point number two live on less than you make I know this sounds very simple and very cliche but you know what it, it's very hard for a lot of people to follow this rule a lot of people spend more money than they actually bring in maybe it's because they don't really know how much they make or they don't know how much money they're making or how much money they're bringing into their budget or maybe they just want to spend more money because they have a mentality that they need to be catching up with the Joneses and they need to have the next iPhone or the next you know high appliance or clothes or whatever it may be you want to cut your expenses as much as possible for example if you're making two thousand dollars a month in income but you're spending twenty four hundred dollars a month that's not going to work you can't do that. You either have to cut your expenses so that your lifestyle adjusts to your income or you need to do something where you can create more income coming in. That's the only way you're going to be able to build wealth is to create extra income. Get another side hustle, take more overtime if you can at your job or do some kind of consulting or whatever it may be. You have to try to make extra money to be able to catch up to your lifestyle otherwise you need to cut your lifestyle back and spend less than what you're bringing in and if you've already done the most that you can to cut your expenses then your next option is to get another job or increase your income by these other methods if you want to make more money don't stay stagnant in one job that you're not appreciated at you need to try to move up and studies show that if you move from one job to another within a one or two year period it is shown that you can actually increase your salary by moving to another company so think about that I know right now we're living during the COVID time and it's not very easy to do that because we're all working remotely at least in California we are I don't know about other places but if you can try to work at a job that allows you that flexibility and gives you that extra income then you should jump on it and take that opportunity. My third advice on money principles is get out of debt and stay out of debt. You can't build wealth if you're paying high interest on debt. You can't be wealthy if you're making banks wealthy by giving most of your wealth to them. You need to be able to try to live below your means 
and saving that money instead of giving it away in debt to the bank or another person that you've borrowed from. If you don't have debt, you have that extra money and that extra money gives you options. After you pay off your debt, use that money to create an emergency fund and just start investing. You need to be able to put that extra money aside to have an emergency fund for things that may break around the house or a medical bill or some other kind of emergency. Try to do whatever you can to get out of debt and stay out of debt because debt is the number one reason why people cannot build wealth. They're always trying to pay off their credit cards or their car loans or their student loans or other loans and they are not able to make money because they're always behind. They cannot use that money to build more wealth because of their bad decisions that they have made. And I don't blame anybody for this. I'm not putting anybody down. However, if you find yourself already in debt, do your best to get out of debt as soon as possible and do the best that you can to not get back into debt. One of the best ways of getting out of debt is putting all your loans in an order in an Excel spreadsheet or in some kind of spreadsheet and try to get the highest interest rate loans up on top and pay those off first so that you're not paying a lot of interest. That's what I did and you can do that or if you want you can just pay off the smaller amounts first and then get the bigger amounts later on. Whatever way works for you, do whatever you can or if you want to use a combination of that that's up to you but the most important thing is to get out of debt number four start investing your money by buying ETFs or index funds or stocks if you don't invest your money it is guaranteed that you're not going to be wealthy unless you get an inheritance or win the lottery then again you might lose it all again anyway by making poor choices if you don't have any investments then don't expect to grow wealth. 100% of the people who are wealthy save money on purpose. Some people do it poorly and some do it better. But the important thing is to save money and start investing today. Whether the stock market is up or the stock market is down. Whether there's a correction, a crash, or it's booming, a bear market, or a bull market, whatever the case may be. It is always proven for the last hundred or so years that the stock market just keeps going higher. Do the best you can to start investing by making good choices. You don't want to be investing in stocks or ETFs that have been performing poorly. There's a lot of choices that you have and there's a lot of research that you need to do to make those choices so that you can grow your wealth and your money in the long term. But if you're not investing, if you're just holding back and you're just sitting on cash, you're not going to grow wealth. You need to invest and put that money into use and let compound interest work for you. So guys, these are my four principles of money and investing that I live by. And I think it's very important to put these into use so that you can grow your wealth and not lose the opportunity because time is ticking, time is passing by. And if you just sit there and make bad choices, there's no way you're going to grow wealth. You need to make those choices right now to make the best effort you can to grow your wealth. So guys, let me know what you think about these four principles on money, on creating a budget, living on less than you make, and getting out of debt and staying out of debt, and number four, investing your money. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.